What's up everyone? So, one of my favorite places to actually go video game hunting is Half Priced Books. So Half Priced Books is a place, it's like a thrift store type of thing where they will buy, you know, books, movies, video games from you and resell them at their listed price. In this video, I'll be going around to, I have two Half Price bookstores in my area, so we'll go to both of those and then I'll make other stops as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. So making my way into the store, you can see just a bunch of variety of games. Looking at the GameCube section first, just a few games. I've never seen this Metal Arms game before, so that caught my eye. Resident Evil, always a great game. Same with Animal Crossing. It's a great game to get for cheap, but $60 is a little high. And same with the Smart Party 8. If you can get it for cheap, you can definitely flip it for some decent cash. Looking at the Wii section, I did spot this unusual game. I've never seen this before, but it's got like a black case. Usually for Wii games, I don't pick them up unless, you know, they are one of the iconic games that have a lot of value or just something very unusual that I haven't seen before. Here's a Wii Sports in an actual case. You actually don't see this much, but $30 is pretty high for a Wii Sports. And below here you can see a couple Wii U games. For Wii U games, I'm looking for the obscure games as well. Mario Party 10 is, is a great one to pick up for cheap. Next to that was some PSP games. So nice to see, you know, them having a couple of those. And the PS1 section wasn't too big as well. They had some decent games, Spyro, but just a little too high priced for me. Then moving on to the PlayStation 2 section. This Batman game, I haven't seen much of, but I'm a big fan of Batman. And with the PS2, I don't really pick up PS2 games anymore. But if I do find some with a lot of value, I may pick up. This Dynasty Warriors, I was debating on getting because it was only 6 bucks. But after opening it, I did not see a manual. And I think that was what eventually stopped me from getting it. I did spot this Looney Tunes game as well. I think I do remember playing this when I was a kid. But gonna pass on that ps3 games i'm looking for a lot of unusual games i guess we're looking for obscure games for all the all the consoles i do want to collect more ps3 games moving forward so i can build up that library street fighter big fan of street fighter and below here starts the original xbox section Sometimes I find some decent games on the original Xbox that have priced books, but this time I'm not seeing much. Found this manual, it looked like it was for a Fallout game. And then I spotted this Fable 2 Limited Collector's Edition. I had never seen this before and Fable 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Fable is actually one of the first games, one of the first RPG games that I played on the Xbox and actually opened the door for me to playing open world RPG games. And then I spotted this Lost game as well. I think it's awesome seeing television shows um, being turned into games and Lost was a favorite TV show of mine. I watched the whole entire series and absolutely loved it. Here's an NCAA football. I know some of these games do have value, but I think this one does not. And looking at this glass case, you can see some Nintendo cartridge based games, some strategy guides up there, but uh, they had a few Nintendo 64 games. Now I'm not the biggest collector of handheld games, so maybe in the future I will dive more into them. But as of right now, not that interested. Saw some Amiibos for a pretty high price. That Ness Amiibo is 40 Same with that Pokemon Trainer. I didn't know they went up that high in value. 
couple of strategy guides. I did spot this Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition. I remember playing this game, I think on the Game Boy Advance. I loved all the Yu-Gi-Oh! games on the Game Boy Advance. A couple of game informers here. You just never know what you'll find magazine wise. Then I did spot this Nintendo Power. So I actually did end up picking up the Fable 2 Limited Collector's Edition and Lost for the Xbox 360. Looking over this section again, I did spot a brand new sealed Fighter Within game for 7 bucks. Took a look on eBay and it looks like I can make some profit for this game. Taking a look at the PlayStation 3 section again, I spotted two PlayStation All-Star games, one for $7.50 and one for $10. I've always wanted this game, so I picked the cheaper one up. Alright, so we had a lot of great pickups from that stop. A couple games and a strategy guide for Yu-Gi-Oh! So when I come to these half-price bookstores, there's usually a Play-Doh's closet nearby, and I think it's very important to educate yourself on more than just video games. I'm also very knowledgeable about shoes and pricing of shoes. And a lot of my game fund was funded from flipping shoes that I find, you know, from thrift stores, Goodwill, Play-Doh's closets, things like that. So I'll make a quick stop there, see what I can find. And then we'll probably just head off to the other half price bookstore. So here we are at our second half-priced book stop. And we're starting off at the PS5, PS4 section. Apparently I did not zoom out of my phone enough to, to catch the top row, unfortunately. And then I did spot this Final Fantasy X and X2 HD remaster. I absolutely love this game. I just recently played the first part on the Xbox One. It was also a remaster edition and um, definitely enjoyed it. So this half price book, I usually come to this one more often and um, there is less of a selection here. So kind of just scrolling through a little more quickly. I spotted Lilo Stitch. I used to watch this show all the time on Disney Channel. So, and I actually don't have it for the PS2. I don't see it often. I spotted some Sega Saturn games. You know, I never actually owned Sega Saturn games and this Street Fighter game definitely caught my attention. I saw a Guitar Hero World Tour complete inbox. I don't know, but it looks like it's still got a lot of the original cardboard and stuff. So definitely cool to see this. They usually put consoles in these cases as well. Sometimes I do snag some cheap consoles here with half price books, marking prices a little lower sometimes. There goes a white PS3. That's something I don't usually see. And also a silver PS2. And they have racked up on this wall are a bunch of Atari games. Um, sometimes they have a lot of like Super Nintendo and NES games too for super cheap but they're more of just the common ones. I've never seen this super fighter pad before as well. I took one last look over the PS4 section and I did spot Dead Rising 4, Frank's big package. I'm a big fan of the Dead Rising game, so this was one that I definitely wanted to pick up. This store usually has a glass case with a bunch of Nintendo 64 and just other Nintendo cartridge games. And there are some decent games in here as well. Snowboard Kids, debated on that, but not sure if 50 is a good price for me to be picking it up at. And then this case, small area right here, are for the more higher end priced games. Haven't seen some of these games before, but awesome to see Yu-Gi-Oh! Mario Sunshine, that South Park game, Silent Hill. Wow, I can't believe Silent Hill is going for $150. So for the last stop, I stopped by this thrift store that recently opened near my house. Um, I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to donate and I wanted to bring it here because um, the owner is actually a really great person. 
The first thing I saw was a bunch of comic books, $2 each, which is amazing to see. Uh, I kind of scrolled through some of these. I don't actually collect comic books, but I do love reading them, um, especially the ones that, you know, I have interest in. This thrift store is actually really cool because they price things very low. I think the um, the owner is just trying to move a lot of inventory. I've actually purchased a couple things here in the past and he has given me amazing deals and that's why I'm returning the favor of you know, bringing my unwanted items to him to donate. I saw this talking refrigerator magnet. It looks like some kind of arcade machine, but it's a magnet for your refrigerator. 150, I couldn't pass that up. I did notice that they had a great selection of shoes um, and it's very cheap as well. I mean, these shoes look basically brand new. If it's a uh, very good condition Nike shoe for very cheap, I definitely do look for those to flip on eBay. And here's a toy room. He's got a couple of like small rooms like this that he decorated pretty well. Um, this room was also really cool to see because it was Mario themed. And look at this, what he did to this wall right here. Mario Kart. He made like tubes, um, he's got, you know, plushies, some wall stickers, this definitely looked awesome. So he does actually have a few glass cases with the more expensive things. Honestly, a lot of this is still like under 10 bucks. He doesn't really keep a lot of expensive stuff um, for security reasons and just, just what he believes in. And in this case, you had all of the video games, and he's got great prices on these, but a very small selection. You got Xbox and PlayStation 4 games, you know, like five bucks a piece on these games, which is great, great deals. And I did pick up a few games here. So here is a quick recap of everything we were able to pick up in this video. At the first half price bookstore, we were able to pick up a bunch of stuff about four games and a game strategy guide. Well, the first game we got was Fable, and this is a special edition Fable 2 limited collector's edition. Uh, I've actually never seen this before, but Fable 2 is definitely one of my favorite games. The second game we picked up was Lost, and we got this for around seven bucks. Um, I'm a big fan of the TV show. I, I do definitely miss when, you know, Video game companies would make video games based off of TV shows and like really popular TV shows like this. And the next game we picked up was PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I've never actually owned this game and that's why I picked it up. I know for a fact this is similar to Super Smash Bros and I'm one of the biggest fans of Super Smash Bros. I played a lot of Super Smash Bros Melee and also Ultimate. And the last game we have is Fighter Within. We picked this up for six or seven bucks and it's brand new sealed, but that's uh, one of the bonuses of going to Half Price Books is they do sell a lot of sealed stuff. So go and check out your Half Price Books and look for these sealed games. For our second Half Price Book Stop, we picked up Dead Rising 4, Frank's Big Package. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Dead Rising games as well. I played, you know, one, two, and three, but I've never played part four. So maybe this is the time when I do pick this up and play it. And for the last stop in this video, we stopped at a thrift store that's like really down the street from my house. I was in the process of cleaning out a lot of stuff in my house and was going to go donate it. And I thought, wow, why don't I just go donate it to him? So I did actually pick up a few games too. He gave me these three games for $4 a piece. The first game was Mad Max. I heard a lot of good things about this game. I haven't played it yet, but uh, I think it's like an open world game and looks like a lot of fun. The second game is Mafia 3. I did pick up uh, the first Mafia Definitive Edition on the Xbox One and I played a little bit of that and it's it's been great. I haven't had time to continue, but um, I love the world. I love the style of the game. And the last game was just this Nickelodeon Kart Racers. You know, it's Nickelodeon characters racing for four bucks. Why not pick up? And that was everything that we were able to pick up. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.